two years ago, uh, a, a young producer who produced uh, Better Late Than Never, a series that went on, went around the world, went around with, uh, with some great guys, and it was very successful, but it was too expensive. The network canceled after two years. So this guy, Jason Ehrlich, was the, the, the producer on it. So he says to me one day, you know, Blue, Blue Origin is going to send a, a spaceship up there and uh, they're going to get uh, passengers. You should go. And I said, Jason, nobody. Why would I want to go? I don't need to go. <laughs> I don't need to go. <laughs> I've got shit to do. Yeah, exactly. I got, yeah. I got interviews to make. He goes, it's 12 minutes. You're like, I okay, got, everyone's got, got 12 minutes. Somewhere. <laughs> so uh, he says, no, they, we really, really would. So he calls Seattle, calls mm -hmm. Amazon. And they say, oh, great idea. Come on up. So we fly up to Seattle and we enter the lobby of, uh, of Amazon. Mm -hmm. which is a giant room filled with Star Trek paraphernalia. Oh, uh, wow. Unbelievable Ooh. number. The spaceship itself, the Enterprise itself is in a big glass globe, and people flock there. And, run, and there comes Jeff Bezos. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> and, uh, and we take pictures around the, the, the Enterprise. Then we sit down at the table, and they say, oh, yeah, that's, you know, that's, a, that's a really cool idea. So we leave Seattle thinking, hmm. And I'm thinking, well, I suppose, uh, you know, go up in space. COVID hits, a year goes by, and nothing happens. And then they call and they said, you know, Jeff is going to go up. Uh, that's all we hear. So uh, Jason Ehrlich says, well, maybe Jeff will pick you to be his, uh, I don't know. <laughs> brother. Okay. Sadie Hawkins. He, a like lovely him. lady, and he picks a very young guy. And that, those two. So now they go up. And I said to Jason, you see? Nobody's interested. It's not. <laughs> and then the nobody cares comes. about me. Nobody cares about it. So now they announce the second vehicle is going to go up, mm -hmm. and Jason, you can go in the second vehicle. <laughs> and, and and I said, listen, that's like the vice president. You know, no, you they want the president. The president went up. The vice president never appears. You know, I'm not going to go. I don't need to go. Too much trouble out in the desert. I'm not. Well, they call Shatner. Would you like to go? I'm thinking. You know. Up in space. <laughs> I like that. Space. I like it. I, weightlessness. What's that? Space. Yeah. Like no. Space. No pilots. We don't. You no don't pilot. even need pilot. Yeah. Just like, press ah, a button like a ride. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll need a pilot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I right. Some experience. You actually. You, yeah. were, you were trained I, I, to take over. Uh, if, voice if commands. I could give voice commands. I uh, can't believe so it. So I agree to go based yes. on the thrill yes. of going up. It's purely and only. Yeah. To my mind. Nobody's going to pay any attention. They weren't going to pay any attention to begin with. Second shot, forget about it. Just for oh me. no, it was That's Captain the only Kirk. One I heard Captain about Kirk was is going into space. Yeah. It was That's so big. big. I mean, well, if, who who knew? I didn't know. I, I could have predicted it, but I I know from your point of view. Why would they care? If I had called, flight? David. Yeah. If I had called you, if you just said call me, I'll tell you what it's going to be like. But no, you kept your silence. And what and what did I know?